Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to set up W2.1, the latest video generation model by Alibaba using Comfy UI. The best part is it's completely free and you can run it on your PC. Whether you are working with low VRAM or high VRAM, I'll guide you step by step on how to choose the right model, set up the workflow and generate stunning videos. How to optimize the workflow and even how to upscale your videos to 4K. So let's dive in. First, let's break down the W2.1 models and why you would choose one over the other. The models are named in a specific format like when 2.1 i2v 14v 480p q2 underscore k dot gg uf. Here is what each part means. So, I2V, this is an image to video model. Where 14V stands for, it has 14 billion parameters. Larger models give better quality but need more resources. Coming to 480p by 720p, this is the output resolution. Now, coming to Q2, Q5. This is the quantization level which affects file size and performance. Now moving on, what is quantization? It's a process that reduces the model size by compressing its weights. This makes it easier to run on systems with limited RAM or VRAM, but it can slightly reduce quality. So here is a quick guide for this. Lower quantization like Q2, Q3, the, these models are smaller, approximately 7 to 9 GB, faster to run and best for low RAM systems like 8 to 12 GB. However, they may have a slight drop in quality. Next, higher quantization like Q5, Q6. So these models are larger approximately between 12 to 18 GB, slower to run and best for high VRAM systems like for 16 GB plus. They offer near real original quality. Now let's set everything up. Head over to the Hugging Face page. Here I have 12 GB VRAM GPU. So I'm working on it. And starting with Win 2.1 i2v 14v 720p q6 underscore k dot ggf for a good balance of quality and performance. So here you have to download it and save it in your Comfy UI's models diffusion model folder. So there are few more models to download. Let's take it and take them one by one. For text encoder. T5 double XL, download from here and save it in your Comfy UI's models text encoder folder. Next is VAE. So, here, as I told you, you have to download from here and again save it in your Comfy UI's models VAE folder. And same goes with Clip Vision. So from here you have to download it and save it in your Comfy UI's models clip vision folder. Next, run your Comfy UI. Once Comfy UI is running, load the workflow. Go to comfyuiblog.com and download the workflow from here and drag it into your Comfy UI. If any nodes are missing, Use the Comfy UI Manager to install the required custom nodes. Now let's configure the nodes. So here you have to select all the models which you had downloaded earlier. Like for GGUF, it is WAN 2.1 i2v 14v 720p q6 underscore k dot GGUF for load clip. It's T5 double XL underscore UM underscore FP8 underscore E4 M3 FN underscore scaled. And for the load clip vision, it is T5 
Clip Region HFPA E4 M3 FN. And the last one is VAE when 2.1 VAE FP8 E4 M3 FN. To make your videos smoother and sharper, let's enhance them using RIFE VFI and upscaling. The RIFE VFI frame interpolation node adds extra frames between existing ones, making the motion look more fluid. Here is so here is how to use it. So first choose the interpolation model like RIFE 47 dot path. Set the interpolation factor to control how many frames are added. For example, a factor of 2 doubles the frame rate. For example, from 16 fps to 32 fps. Adjust the multiplier for smoother transitions but be careful higher values can introduce artifacts fast mode so enable it as true for upscaling use the upscale model loader choose a model like 4x full hardy remarky dot path now let's talk about the sampler settings which control how the model generates frames so here is what you need to know so first is sampler type Choose Uni PC for speed, Euler for Euler A for balanced quality, and DDIM for fine details. Next is steps. So for lower steps, like for example 20 are faster but may lose details, while higher steps, for example 50 are slower but sharper. Next is CFG scale. Lower values uh, like 7 are more creative, while higher values, for example, 12 are more precise. Finally, let's generate a video, upload an image using the load image node, resize it if needed, and set your prompt. So, positive prompt describe what you want, for example, a cute anime girl with massive fennec ears and a big fluffy tail wearing a maid outfit turning around. So this is what I want for my video. And for the negative prompt, I have mentioned deformed, distorted, disfigured, motion smear, blur. So this is what I don't want in my video and I have excluded that. Now click Q and wait for the process to complete. The video will be saved in the output folder. Finally, the result has been generated and you can see the model did an amazing job bringing this cute anime girl to life. She has massive fennec ears, a big fluffy tail and a beautiful detailed made outfit. The animation is seamless with soft movements that make the scene feel alive. Plus. After upscaling it to 4K, the details became even sharper, looks more immersive and the overall quality is good. So that's it. Now you are ready to generate a stunning videos on your PC using W2.1 and with Comfy UI. If you found this helpful, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.